In this Microsoft Word video, I'm going to show you how to add online videos into your Word documents. Let's get started. So traditionally, Microsoft Word documents were created mostly for the purpose of eventually printing them. But more recently, people have started to share and access Word documents digitally. And in those cases, it can be very helpful to add videos into your Word documents. Let's look at how to do it. Here I am in Word working on an article about technology for teachers. And I would really like to have a video to go with this second point on interactive whiteboards. So I'm just going to tap enter a few times to create some space. I don't have to do that, but I think it makes sense in this case. And then I'll just go here to the insert tab. On the insert ribbon, there should be a media group. And there it says online videos. Now before I click there, I'm going to identify the video that I want to actually add to go with my point number two. So I'm going to switch over to my Microsoft Edge browser and I'm going to pull up a video on interactive whiteboards. This is a YouTube video and I'm just going to go up here and click on the URL, copy it, Control C is a great way to copy it. You could also right click and choose copy. And then back in Microsoft Word, now I'm ready to click the online videos button. And I'll just paste in the URL or embed code for the video that I just found and would like to include in this document. So I'll paste it in there, click insert, and Microsoft Word now has embedded that YouTube video into my Word document. I can now share this document digitally and people will be able to read the words of the document and then when they get down here to the video, they can click play and the video will play right from Microsoft Word. We're gonna show you how to use the board. I'm gonna click away from that video. Let's look at another example. Here I have a paragraph on gamification in education. I'll tap enter a few times. I'll jump back to Edge. And let's say I do some YouTube searches for a good video on this topic and I find one. Once again, I can just copy the URL. And sometimes there's a better way to copy the URL than just going up here. Sometimes it's a little handier to just go down here to share and then click copy. That will copy the URL of the video. And then switching back to Microsoft Word, I can click where I want the video to be embedded, go to the insert tab, online videos, paste in the URL, click insert, and there's my video. Now, if the video comes in too small or too big, don't worry, you can fix that. Just go to one of the corners of the video, click and hold the click, and then drag to shrink it down, or if you need to, to make it bigger. I'm just gonna shrink it down quite a ways. Also, notice that there is an option to rotate the video. That may or may not make sense in your case. And then there's also this little button here that appears. If you click on that, it brings up the layout options. By default, my video was put in in line with the text. Because of that, it interacts with the text. If I pull it down, the text reacts. If I pull it up, the text reacts as well. It makes room for it. But if I click the Layout Options button, I could change how this video interacts with the text behind it. I could go to square, and now the text will wrap around my embedded video. I can still move the video, but notice what happens. The text reacts and makes room for it and wraps itself around the video. So that is one of the options that some people like. There's also tight text wrapping, through text wrapping. Some of these have just subtle differences. We also have top and bottom. And so what this does is the text still wraps itself around the video, but only on the top and bottom of the video, not the sides. And then we have two more options. We have behind text. In that case, the video is obscured somewhat by the text in front of it. And we have in front of text and that gives us the opposite problem. Now the video is obscuring the text behind it. So you'll need to consider which of these options is best for you and your content. I'm gonna choose top and bottom, and I'm going to click and drag to move the video exactly where I want it to be. Now notice that there are other options here below. Do I want the video to move with the text, or do I want the video in a fixed position on the page? So those are some options you can think about and try out if you'd like. There's also a See More link that you can click, and it gives you many other options that you can test out and try to adjust how your video shows up on the screen. 
So I hope that you can see how useful this could be to insert some online videos that go along with your document that you're creating or your curriculum if you're a teacher and you can insert those videos into your document and very conveniently make them available for your students or for the intended audience. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this tutorial to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, click the bell and you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, you can do that by clicking the thanks button below the video and by supporting me through my Patreon account and by buying channel merch. And you'll see information about those options in the description below the video. Speaking of Patreon, I want to give a quick shout out to my $5 Patreon supporters. Thank you so much for all you do to support the channel. I really appreciate you, and honestly, I appreciate all of my Patreon supporters. Those at the $1 level, $2, whatever. Thank you all so much for your support.